Today I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy for Resident Evil 4 Remake. This might be one of my most tedious Platinums yet, as I'll have to complete the game a total of 7 times, with each playthrough having their own challenge, such as beating the game without healing, and of course completing the game on the hardest difficulty, Professional Mode. Now my first playthrough is going to be on Standard Difficulty while trying to get every missable trophy there is. I get my first trophy after coming across the first enemy type of the game, Elderly People. Perry. Knife basics? All right, let me get out of here. We got a trophy for parrying that guy. And these grandmas and grandpas were not playing around. All right, we're looking good. We are look- Ow! But after fending off the villagers for what felt like forever, they decided to leave me for their daily game of bingo. Doing some more exploring around the village, I came across the first collectible of 16 that I needed for a trophy later on. <laughs> revolt against the revolting. A little later, I meet one of the most important characters in the entire game, the merchant. He is pretty much the shop of the game, where you can buy, sell, and trade items that you find around the world. He is also the source of new weapons and weapon upgrades, which are very important for most playthroughs. And yes, there is a playthrough I have to complete without even talking to the merchant, so that should be fun. I turn in my first of many merchant contracts. These are pretty much side quests that you can do throughout the game, and completing these will earn you spindles, which you can use to trade with the merchant. Along with that, I unlocked my first weapon upgrade. All right, so for this trophy, I need to throw this flashbang in here like that. Think. There it is. Defeat three enemies at once with a flash grenade. Oh my, dude, there is something giant behind this. And here I make it to the first shooting range of the game. There are 12 games I have to play and I have to earn S rank on each one of them. Okay, so we got a shooting gallery. Let's do this. Now the first few games weren't so bad. Amateur shooter trophy. Hey, we got an A for our first try. That's pretty good. But later on, I had some pretty heated moments. Garbage. I just, dude, I just, oh my goodness. I just killed an innocent. No, I literally missed it at the, at the very end. I missed it at the very end. Garbage. No. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. But I ended up getting S rank for three out of the 12 games that we need for the trophy later on. Look at that, 10,000 score. Triple S on all games. But now it was time to face the first boss. All right, let's get it, Leon. We have infinite spears, so we can just hurl it at this beast right here. Right in his mouth. What? Dodge that. This is light work so far. Where'd you go, buddy? There he is, in the mouth. In the mouth. Dodge, oh my goodness. Game design-wise, this boss was insane. But in the end, he was pretty easy. I've hit this guy a million times by now. Come on, dude, just give up. Just fall over already. There we go. Harpoon Hurler. There it is. But just when I thought it was over, I had to face another boss. And this boss isn't tied to a trophy, but I still thought it was cool. I know what's about to happen. That thing we heard snoring earlier. He's awake now. Oh my goodness. There he is. Shrek himself. Does he even have a weak point? Oh yeah, his back. Okay. Oh, melee it. Get up there, Leon. Let's go. Knife attack. Get this gummy worm out of here. Yes, sir. It's the wolf. It's the wolf we rescued earlier. We cannot let him kill the dog okay well he just kicked me like a soccer ball <laughs> all right buddy let's get it what is he is he gonna pick up the house oh my god dodge oh we just took a house leon <laughs> we just took a house oh the dog's going in okay get up there quick come on this has to be it there we go is he dead boom shrek is down where's the puppy at there he is i'm glad he made it out alive shortly after that fight i find ashley aka the president's daughter aka the whole reason why we are here in the first place surely nothing could possibly go wrong god damn it hey leave her alone leave her alone talk about a near-death experience and it seems like as soon as i met ashley things started to get worse as we were now being hunted down by one of the next bosses big boy mendez and this guy was not playing around did i die already oh nice knife him evade let's go i gotta keep my distance evade evade oh look at that backflip eventually i made it to a second phase why would you pick that up? That's just a skill issue, to be honest. Shoot the tank. Shoot the tank. Nice. Come on. Okay. The grilled big cheese trophy. Big cheese is down. After defeating Mendez, me and Ashley make our way to the castle area of the game. Before entering the castle, I get a trophy for obliterating an enemy with a freaking cannon. A little bit after entering, I am faced with one of the scariest enemies in the game. They are pretty much giant jack dudes with claws. And by taking one out only using knives, I got myself another trophy. Now this was one of my favorite sections in the entire game, just because of how eerie the castle was. The level design in this game is easy 
easily a 10 out of 10. Okay, now I should get a trophy for selling this crown right here. Basically, what we have to do is slot in these gems for a combo, and it makes it $108,000. We are about to be rich. All right, here we go. Trophy. <laughs> There it is, Astute Appraiser. And I should get another trophy for using this upgrade ticket. There we go. And now for the first real challenge of my playthrough. Let's do this, Leon. All right, we got the power on. These grenades are rated E for everybody. There he is! Take the nades. Boom, boom, boom. Just lay in on this dude. You know what? Take this flash. All right, melee. There we go. And when he's down, just slug him. Dude, how many shots does this guy take? No! Are we dead? Get off me. Heavy grenade. Take that. And then get this 44 mag. Dude, he's taking everything in my inventory. Dude, does this guy die? Come on, man. Headshot after headshot. Parry after parry. Dude, oh my god, I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Can he leave me alone so I can get the door open? This guy is annoying. Let me open it. Dude, what am I supposed to do against him? I was slowly starting to panic as I had no idea how to defeat this boss until I figured this out. Turn it on. There we go. All right. Big damage. Take this magnum. Just take all of it. Oh my god, he's dead. Get him out of here. Oh my god. That was the hardest boss in the game so far. Dude, this fight is going to be a nightmare on the harder difficulties. Yeah, rip bozo. And now for an actual fun trophy. Here I have to get through this minecart section without taking any damage. This section took me around two or three tries, but as long as you're paying attention, you should get through this part no problem. Oh my gosh, that was it. Okay, hope you like thrill rides. I then pick up a trophy for collecting every treasure in the castle area of the game. There is a trophy for collecting all treasures in the village area but i missed it by one so i would have to clean that up in another playthrough for this next fight i had to somehow throw a grenade into this boss's mouth kind of a weird trophy but here's how this went stand completely still please raymond i need you to i need you to just take the grenade how did that not work oh my god i missed so bad that was terrible we got a second shot at this come here yeet Dude, I, I suck. Oh my goodness, I suck. Dude, just leave me alone. I just want the grenade. Okay, here we go. Dude, throw the grenade, Leon. Do it. Yes, finally we got the trophy. You talk too much. Yes, he does. Such an annoying boss. Now we can clap him. Oh, I got the magnum though. Bop, bop. Here we go. There we go. Get Raymond out of here. Well... That was a cool fight. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this on hardcore and professional. I have no idea. Eventually, I end up at the final part of the game, the island, and easily one of the hardest areas in the game, thanks to stronger and new enemies such as these guys. Oh my god, what is this? Get out the way. Oh, okay. These are called regenerators, and the only way to defeat them is to destroy every parasite inside of their body. And I can get a trophy if I kill two parasites in a row. All we have to do is zoom in right here, and bop. That didn't work. The next day, the motherfucker was dead. Three, two, one, bink. Two bugs, one stone. Eventually, I found myself at the final shooting range of the game. All I had to do was earn the final S ranks and the trophy was mine. Did we do it? Is that S? Oh, wait, we still got S. Let's go. Real Deadeye. Earn an S rank in all games at the shooting range. But with those trophies cleaned up, it was time to face the boss, Krauser. Easily my favorite fight in the entire game. Let's do this. I am ready. Let's go, Krauser. Let's go. We find like men up in here. Oh, wait, that was a cheap shot. I don't even have a parry window. Evade. Oh my gosh, there it goes. You used to be a good guy. It's time to meet your maker, Krauser. We are now in the home stretch of the game. I end up completing every merchant contract that he has to offer, which earns me this trophy. Jack of all trades. You're welcome, buddy. And I found every treasure available on the island. All I had to do now was to beat the final boss of this playthrough. Oh, this is kind of light work. This is kind of really easy. Get that stab. Okay, that. Is it just rinse and repeat from here? Let me get this stab in and then I got something for you. And then take this. Is that it? Is that GG? No way he's done that fast. I knew that wasn't it. If the trophy doesn't pop, the boss is not dead. Final phase, I guess. This reminds me of the dead space boss. Dead space final boss. Let's go, Ada. Oh, she got the special RPG. And take that. You're small time. Let's go, Leon. Yes, sir. 
Boom! That's GG. That's GG right there. With the final boss defeated, Ashley and I had to escape the island. On our way out, I picked up the final collectible. Oh, there it is. Get that. Revolution wind up. The final Castilian that we needed. Let's get out of here. Now, the last trophy I needed for my playthrough was to escape on the jet ski without taking any damage. Okay, nice and easy. No, bro. What am I supposed to do on that turn? Oh, wait. Okay, I hit something, but it didn't count. Please tell me we're gonna be okay. Oh my- No! Oh my god, we took damage at the last freaking point. Dude, the exit is right there! What are you doing? Like, why is there a box there? Whose Amazon packages are in this water? Oh my god, we hit that, but we're okay. We didn't take damage. Okay, let's not mess up on this part. Alright, we're good. A straight shot. This is it. A straight shot. Come on! Smooth escape. We did it. That's it. That's game. Complete the main story on standard or higher. Now all that was left for the platinum was some missable trophy cleanup, along with the six other playthroughs. The trophy I get here was for collecting all the treasure in the village map. There it is, the bandit trophy. I don't know how I missed that my first playthrough. Here I was able to knock out three of the playthrough trophies in just one, which was pretty cool. For this next missable trophy, I had to ride this elevator without any enemies jumping on. This should be easy, right? All right, let me see if I can get this trophy that I was having so much trouble with on my first playthroughs. So let's blow this guy up no get away nice and easy nobody jump on last second thank you we should be good this is it there's no way someone jumps no, there's yeah. no way we were right here are you serious did that still count no nope. all right round two let's go literally where do they come from where do they come from where's the last lady at where is she at oh here she is get her out of here there it is, capacity compliance. I saw her sneaking up last second. I don't think so. And here are some of the final playthrough trophies that I needed for the platinum, but I still have to beat the game one more time. All right, all I have to do is beat this challenge right here, complete the game on professional mode without using any bonus weapons, and that will award us the hand cannon, the final weapon that we need for the gun fanatic trophy. This boss should be a cakewalk. I got the RPG. He's gonna jump and hold this shotgun. Yes, sir. Now for the second phase, I'll just dump everything I have into him. There we go. Thank you, Ada. And hold that. Good night for the final time. Goodbye, Lord Sadler. Out of the way, idiot. And there we go. No damage. Let's go. All right. Did we get it? There it is. Professional agent. The hand cannon weapon. Now we just have to buy it. The hand cannon. Give me that. There it is. Gun fanatic. Oh, this thing is clean. And there it is, the Platinum Trophy for Resident Evil 4 Remake. Cause boredom kills me. That is a funny name. And this took me 79 hours, almost 80 hours. When I really enjoy a game, I like to take the time to actually play it and enjoy it. But yeah, easily my game of the year. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see me Platinum another survival horror game like Dead Space, you can click the video on screen now.